In the Jungle Inferno update, the patch note stated that the bison had been reverted to its previous design. The projectile speed was increased, the damage was decreased, but that was to compensate for the multi-hit mechanic being brought back. So, the bison's back! Right? Right? Not right! Not right? Right! See, here's the thing. If you're like me and you've been using the bison non-stop since the update dropped, you might have noticed that you're not hitting people as often as you used to and you're not dealing as much damage as you used to. And this is because the bison was not fully reverted to pre-meet your match status. There was a hidden change to the bison's projectile that was not changed back, and it's made the weapon much weaker than it was in its original state. Let me explain. In the Meet Your Match update, the TF team updated the hitboxes for the bison and Pompson projectiles to be more consistent with their visual counterparts. And when I say visual counterparts, I mean the thing that you actually see coming at you, the lasers coming out of the gun. Yeah, those things. The hitbox is something entirely different. It's the invisible thing that goes inside of the projectile that determines whether or not you get hit. Since both the Pompson and the Bison were going to be single hit projectiles after the update, this change made sense. The TF team wanted them to be less spammable, which is a noble goal to be sure, and they wanted it to feel more fair when fighting against it. Before Meet Your Match, the Bison projectile used fire hitboxes, which is why you could light Huntsman arrows with them, and it's also why the hitboxes were about as ridiculous and disjointed as Jigglypuff's back air in Melee. I completely understand why Valve changed it. I mean, hell, I would still agree with the change if the Bison still fired a single hit projectile. But the Bison doesn't fire a single hit projectile. The majority of the damage that the bison deals is thanks to its multi-hit mechanic. As long as the hitbox is in contact with the player, it deals damage every so often. But here's the thing, with a smaller hitbox, there's less contact time with your target on average. To give an example, the old bison projectile could get up to five consecutive hits on a target that was moving in the same direction as the projectile, so a target that was running away. In the bison's current state, in the same conditions, you can only get up to three. This is, in theory, a 40% damage reduction from the pre-Meet Your Match Bison, and that's really, really bad. So, this video is a PSA for you guys to know about this, but it's also a call for Valve to change the Bison again. The partial reversion of the Meet Your Match nerf was a step in the right direction, definitely, but we're not quite there yet. Ideally, I'd like to see the hitbox nerf reverted, but as I've mentioned before, I am well aware that the TF team might not want to revert stats. The old hitbox was admittedly pretty ridiculous, and changing it to use fire particles again might not even work, what with the new particles that were created for use in the Jungle Inferno update. So, if such a change is not not possible, here is an alternate solution. Increase the frequency with which the projectile deals damage to a target. Think of it like a faster firing speed, but only when the projectile is connected to your target. This way, we'll be dealing pre-meet your match damage. We'll be able to hit the target as many times as we could before, but the hitboxes won't be quite as ridiculous as they were, and it'll be less spammable and, by extension, more fun to fight against. If this is something that you'd like to see happen as well, then I highly encourage you to send an email to the TF team about this issue. I'll put a link down in the comments that you can use to send that. But if you are going to send them an email, then I urge you to be polite and respectful about it. Yelling at and insulting the developers of a game that we all love and want to see improved is not not going to solve anything. I mean, hell, I'm not even sure that the TF team was aware that this reduction in potential damage was even happening, so please, be nice about it. I've already sent my email over to them, and I would highly encourage you to do the same. Alright, that's really all I have on that front. In other news, I'm not counting this video as my weekly one. I do have an actual video going up in the near future, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. I'll see you later.